How to get rid of four dice spots. Four dice spots, or granules, are small, raised, pale red or white bumps that may appear on the labia, scrotum, shaft of the penis, or on the border of your lips. Essentially they are visible sebaceous glands, which normally secrete oils for the hair and skin. They commonly appear during puberty and are harmless, they are not infectious and not considered an STD, sexually transmitted disease, like herpes and genital warts are. No treatment is typically required, although getting rid of them for cosmetic reasons is common. Laser and other surgical treatments are the most effective medical treatments. Part 1 Getting Rid of Four Dye Spots 1. Consult with a dermatologist. If you notice little bumps on your genitals or around the borders of your lips that aren't going away or are bothering you, Get a referral from your family doctor to a dermatologist, who are skin specialists. The dermatologist will be able to diagnose your condition and put your mind at ease, because four dye spots can sometimes look like small warts or the initial stages of a herpes outbreak. Four dye spots are a very common phenomenon and appear in about 85% of the population at some time in their lives. Males are a little more likely to develop them than females are. It's important to realize that four dye spots are harmless, painless, not infectious, and do not require treatment. Their removal should be for cosmetic reasons only. Four dye spots are much more noticeable when the skin is stretched, and may only be seen during an erection, in males, or during pubic hair management, bikini wax, for females. 2. Ask about the available laser treatments. If you decide to remove some four dye spots for cosmetic reasons, talk to your dermatologist about available laser treatments, which are the most common method of getting rid of them and certain other skin conditions. Vaporizing laser treatments, such as carbon dioxide, CO2, lasers, have been used with some success on four dye spots, but so have pulsed dye lasers. Ask your doctor, which may be most appropriate for your condition and budget. CO2 lasers were the earliest gas lasers developed and remains the highest power continuous wave laser treatment currently available for various skin conditions. However, CO2 laser ablation can leave scars afterwards, so it may not be appropriate for four dye spots on the face. In contrast, treatment with pulsed dye lasers is more expensive than CO2 lasers, but may be less likely to leave scars. 3. Consider micro-punch treatments instead. Micro-punch surgery is a procedure that involves using a pen-like device to punch a small hole in the skin and remove tissue. It's often used in hair transplant surgery, but research indicates it can be very effective for removing four dye spots also, especially on the genitalia. The risk of scarring with micro Punch surgery is less than CO2 lasers and the spots don't seem to return, which is a possibility with CO2 and pulsed dye laser treatments. A local anesthetic is needed to eliminate the pain of micro-punch surgery. The tissue removed with micro-punch techniques is not destroyed, unlike laser therapy, so it can be looked at under a microscope to rule out other more serious skin conditions, such as warts or cancer. Micro Punch treatments are generally very quick and can remove dozens of four dye spots within minutes, making it ideal for people who have hundreds of spots on their genitalia or face. 4. Think about using topical prescription creams. There's some evidence to suggest that hormonal imbalance triggered by puberty, pregnancy, and menopause can cause or contribute to four dye spots in the same way they can contribute to acne pimples. As such, a variety of prescription creams that are normally used on acne and other skin blemishes can sometimes yield results on four dye spots. Ask your dermatologist about the potential for using topical glucocorticoids, retinoids, clindamycin, pimacrolimus or benzoyl peroxide. Clindamycin cream is especially helpful for combating inflamed sebaceous glands, although it's rare for four dye spots to become swollen. 
For younger women, going on oral contraceptives may reduce or eliminate Fordi spots, much like how they impact acne. CO2 laser ablation is often combined with the use of topical exfoliating acids, such as trichloroacetic and bichloroacetic acids. 5. Ask about photodynamic therapy. Photodynamic therapy is a light, activated treatment. A medication called 5 aminolevulinic acid is applied to the skin, allowed to penetrate, and then is activated with a light source, such as a blue light or a pulsed dye laser. This treatment can also treat and prevent certain skin cancers and acne. Be aware that this treatment can be expensive. This treatment also makes the skin more sensitive to the sun temporarily. 6. Look into isotretinoin. Isotretinoin can take several months, but it can give long, lasting results for Fordi spots. This treatment works well for acne and other similar conditions of the sebaceous glands. Isotretinoin has some serious risks and possible side effects, including possible birth defects, so it should only be considered for serious conditions, and women who take isotretinoin must abstain from sex or use birth control. 7. Ask about cryotherapy. Cryotherapy is the process of freezing off the bumps using liquid nitrogen. Talk to your dermatologist about the possibility of using this treatment to get rid of Fordi spots. 8. Find out about electrodesiccation cauterization. This is a form of laser therapy that burns off the Fordi spots. Talk to your dermatologist about whether or not this might be an option for you. 9. Practice good hygiene. Keeping your skin clean and free of excess oils and bacteria can help reduce the occurrence of Fordi spots in some people, particularly during teen years and pregnancy when hormone levels soar, but it's not a reliable way of getting rid of existing spots in most cases. Using clarifying agents to clean your face and genitals may help to unclog pores and sebaceous glands, which is also an effective strategy to prevent blackheads, pimples. Wash your genitals and face thoroughly on a regular basis, particularly after exercising and sweating. Consider using a mild exfoliating agent, such as a loofah pad, when cleaning your skin. If you have four dye spots on your genitalia, avoid shaving your pubic hair because the spots might become more noticeable. Laser hair removal may be a better choice. Part 2 Differentiating Fordi Spots from Other Conditions 1. Don't confuse Fordi Spots with herpes. Although Fordi Spots appear in the same areas of the body as herpes lesions, around the lips and genitalia, they are very different conditions. Unlike Fordi Spots, herpes lesions look like red blisters or ulcers and they are initially very itchy before becoming painful usually described as burning pain. Also, herpes lesions are usually larger than Fordi spots. Herpes are caused by the herpes simplex virus, either type 1 or 2, and are very contagious. In contrast, Fordi spots are not contagious. After an outbreak, herpes lesions fade away and usually only reappear in times of stress. Fordi spots sometimes fade away but usually they are permanent or even get a little worse with age. 2. Differentiate Fordi spots from genital warts Fordi spots can look a lot like genital warts, particularly during their early stages when the warts are quite small. Both conditions also appear around the genitalia. However, genital warts can grow to be much larger than Fordi spots and are caused by HPV or human papillomavirus. HPV is also contagious and transmitted primarily by skin, too, skin contact, through a cut, abrasion, or small tear in your skin. As genital warts grow, they often develop into cauliflower, like bumps or tiny stem, like protrusions. In contrast, Fordi spots often look like chicken skin or sometimes goosebumps, especially when the skin is stretched. 
genital warts often spread to the anus regions, whereas fordi spots rarely do. Genital warts increase your risk of cancer of the cervix. In contrast, fordi spots are not associated with any other condition. 3. Don't mistake fordi spots for folliculitis. Folliculitis is an inflammation of the hair follicles that's commonly seen around the opening of the vagina and base of the penis. Folliculitis involves the formation of little pustules around the pubic hair follicles. They are frequently itchy, sometimes painful and red, and release some pus if squeezed, similar to a pustule pimple. In contrast, fordi spots are rarely itchy, never painful, and can sometimes release a thick, oily discharge if squeezed, similar to a blackhead pimple. Folliculitis is often caused by shaving the pubic region and irritating hair follicles. Bacteria are sometimes involved, although it's not considered a contagious condition. Folliculitis is often successfully treated with topical creams or oral antibiotics and better hygiene measures, including quitting shaving with a razor. It's not recommended to squeeze fordi spots because you may inflame them and make them larger. Tips Always see your doctor if you notice unusual bumps on your face or around your genitalia. Always practice safe sex even if you know your fordi spots aren't contagious. Be honest with your sexual partner about your condition. In some cases, fordi spots completely fade away with age, although with some elderly people they can get worse. It's estimated that nearly twice as many men have fordi spots compared to women.